Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the snakes and ladders problem. On a given n times n board, the numbers from one to n times n are written uh, starting from the bottom left of the board and alternating direction each row. Uh, that means we write the numbers from the last row and the first from left to right, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go up. Then we start from right to left. So that should be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we go up, start from left to right, so on so forth. Then we start on square 1, which is here. And we want to see um, how many moves it takes to reach the end, which is n times n. And we define the move. Uh, we choose a destination square S with number x plus 1, x plus 2, to x plus 6. This is one move. But if it has a ladder or snacks, we will reach the destination other than uh, stay there. See if, uh, for example, when we are at uh, 1, we can reach 2. But uh, there is a ladder here, so we should uh, um, reach the end of this ladder. That means we will reach 15, and then we stay here. Even if there is a ladder, stay at 15, and uh, the end is 28, we will not keep going there. One move just uh, reach, um, just uh, goes through one ladder. We cannot uh, keep going the ladders. It's the one thing you should notice. Um, then if we cannot reach the end, we just return negative 1. So uh, that question asks us to return the minimum moves. Well, typically in this 2D array, and uh, it is unweighted, every move have the same length. We will use breadth-first search. Think, um, in the previous problems, like we are at uh, 9, we can go four directions, which is go up, go down, go left, go right. This is one length, so we use breadth first search. But in these questions, we can we define the same move. One is go x1, 2, x6. All these six uh, means the length of 1. Or we if there is a ladder or a snack there, we will just go the destination of that ladder or snack. This is also called one move. So we can also use breakfast search. But this problem has something we need to notice. Um, one thing is that we are given the number other than the index of the board. Like if we we are given the number 9. We need to first find its actual index, which is the row 4 and the column 3. This board starts from the last row, but actually in a 2D array, the row index is start from the up. Uh, we go from up to down, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, the same for the column. We start from left to right. But in this given board, in the last row, we start from left to right. Then we go from right to left. Then we go from left to right and uh, right to left. So we need to find the actual index in that board. Uh, I think this is the difficulty. Let's think how to convert the index. If we are given a 9, you should notice that this index starts from 1 other than 0. So we need the first minus 1, so we get 8. And we want to find, uh, if we start from the bottom, uh, where is the number of the lines are we? So we should uh, divide uh, n to get the index of the line start from bottom to up. So we use 9 minus 1, we get 8. 8 divided 6, we get 1. 
So that means we are at the index one, start from the bottom. But actually, we start from the uppermost line. So we should use n minus this line index and the minus one. So we get the actual row index start from up. In that case, we use six minus one minus one. So we get the row index of four. Yeah, that's correct. How about the colon index? If we are at the row like five, three, one, we just use the same idea because we start from left to right. So we just use the uh, nine minus one, we get eight. Eight module six, we get two. Uh, yes, it's two. So there will be a zero, one, two. But actually, we start from right to left. So in the nine, like uh, four, two, one, we should use n minus that index and the minus one again. So that should be 6 minus 2 minus 1. So we get the correct column, that is 3. Okay, so the idea is we first get the correct row index. But for the column, we have two cases. If the number minus row module 2 not equal to 0. So like we are at the row fifth, fifth we go from left to right. So the colon index will just be the number minus 1 module n. Otherwise, we should use n minus that index and minus 1 because we go from right to left. OK, this is one thing. Um, the same thing that we, because we may have many ways to reach the end. So we need to try all the possibilities and to get the global minimum value. And also, we maybe we cannot reach that end. Uh, then we need a return negative one. Uh, and this is the case is a little bit harder to think out. That is, we may have circles. That means if the because this is the start, this is the end, they both negative one because they cannot have a ladder or a snack. But in all the six possibilities like a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the one move we can reach, that will return to the 1. So we cannot go to other places. It just had a circle. So we need to skip that. So if both the row colon equal to the source they come from, we just continue. Also, we also need a Boolean array to mark the cells we visited before. Mm. Okay, and uh, so the time complexity and the space complexity will just be big O n times n because we visit it just once and uh, we use a Boolean array. So okay, just uh, this problem is just use a breakfast search, and uh, the we should man uh, we should uh, pay attention to the move. What does that mean? And we use a visit the Boolean array. And uh, I think the hardest part is to convert the index. And uh, should figure out that uh, it may have the circle. We should skip some cases. OK, now let's write the code. First, do a simple edge case check if board equal to none or board door length equal to 0, we return 0. Otherwise, we get the n that will be board door length. And we use a Boolean array. It will be weighted. Uh, I will just uh, use 1D because we can just uh, try to put the number in it. We do not need to use a 2D array. Basically, they are the same. Plus 1. OK. Uh, then we need a cube. We also use integer. Just uh, offer this number. You array deck. Then Q of uh, 1. First is 1. And we also need the moves. And the first is 0. And we also need a minimum. We initialize it to n times n. Because in the end, we can see whether 
we have uh, uh, something less than n times n. If it is still n times n, that means we cannot reach the end. Okay, then while this queue is not empty, we will first get the size of this queue because all the elements in the same level have the same move. So for in i s n size i plus plus, we will get the curve number that will be q pole. If this curve equal to n times n, we know that we find a way. So minimum will be mass minimum minimum curve. Oh, uh, sorry, moves. Um, then we will try six possibilities j equal to 1, j less or equal than 6, j plus plus. So we get uh, the number will be curve plus j. You should notice that if the number is greater than n times n, which means it's invalid, so we just break. Otherwise, um, if we haven't visited this number, we will beat that, put that to true, and we will get, we convert the real index. So row will equal to uh, n minus number minus 1 divide n and then minus 1. And the column will, we check if n minus row module 2 equal 0. Like uh, if this is row 5, n minus 6 minus 5 equal to 1, 1 module 1 not equal to 0. So we go from not equal to 0, we go from left to right. If equal to 0, we go from right to left. Well, if we equal to 0, we go from right to left. So that will be n minus number minus 1 module n minus 1. Otherwise, we just return number minus 1 module n. OK. So if bold row colon equal to negative 1, that means there is no ladder or snack. So we just queue off that number. Otherwise, we offer it a destination that will be bold row and column. Okay, and outside this uh, for loop, we let the moves plus plus. In the end, uh, in the end, check whether the minimum equal to n times n. If yes, return negative one. Uh, otherwise, return minimum. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.